Hey guys. So uh, our bass fishing this week took place at two ponds. This first pond is uh, one that you guys have already seen. In fact, you've seen both of them, but this one uh, is over at my uh, at my buddy's private ponds and uh, went back over here to see if I could tear out some more uh, lipless crankbait fish. So uh, came back over here and just immediately started throwing in. This is my first cast that you're seeing right here. And so uh, just wanted to really get right back to where I was the last time I was here a few weeks ago with the with the lipless crankbait. Uh, air temperature was about 55 degrees. We had uh, strong wind advisories, uh, severe weather advisories all week long. We're supposed to have uh, some pretty bad storms at the end of this week. So uh, uh, we're lucky we even got out to go fish. Uh, we had a break in the weather here at this pond. Don't horse them. <laughs> yeah, he's actually pretty good. All right, guys, so you can see we're back over here at my other local pond. You guys have seen this pond before. The conditions have kind of shifted to what I was speaking about a little bit earlier, to that really intermittent rain, but really heavy wind, uh, colder temperatures, just really miserable to fish. Uh, the fish aren't very active, so I'm having to revert back to a lot of finesse techniques and, and slow reaction baits, like, uh, like a lipless crankbait, and just using it in a in a slow way like where there's not a lot of cranking involved it's more of more of ripping and just a lot of fall a lot of fall so you just really letting the bass take a good look at everything before they decide to bite because they they just want to get a, a really good look at everything because uh for whatever reason they're just they're very lethargic i'm sure the weather has something to do with it i'm sure the season has something to do with it that's just that's where they are right now and it's Par for the course. You can expect that this time of year. Um, on a, as a side note, later on in this clip, even right now, you can notice that my camera angle is way too high. I forgot to adjust it when I was, um, as you can see right there, I just I swung and missed at, at, at this fish. I'm having to adjust my worm. But anyway, back to the camera angle. <clears throat> the, uh, the camera angle is up too high. I forgot to adjust it down. So... You don't need to comment about it. I totally dropped the ball on making sure that the camera angle was pointed down. So my bad, you guys. I'll have to just remember to do that next time. So anyway, um, air temperature outside, it's like 55 degrees. Just using everything as a you know, slow finesse, slow finesse technique. So, um, you know, if I'm using reaction cranking, then I'm doing it slow, offering a lot of fall, a lot of pause. Is involved in uh, reaction baits right now I'm just uh, dragging a worm across the bottom there's a lot of weeds on the bottom and you're seeing me shake my rod tip and what I'm trying to do is not so much impart action on this worm but trying to just gently shake off the weeds that I'm that I'm crawling this worm through so uh, I, I mean there's a little bit of imparting action into the worm that's involved here but most of it is just Barely inching it across the bottom, letting that fish get a really good look at it. At the same time, trying to shed the um, the weeds off of the lure. So uh, it's not my favorite way to fish because you got to fish a lot slower. But it's what catches fish. So we're out here, we're doing it, and uh, we'll let the video take over.
There he is. He bit it once, and I missed him. Now we got him. That's a big fish, you guys. Look at that. That's a big fish. That is a big fish. Look at that. I hope you guys can see that. Look at that. That's a four pounder right there. Look at that fish, you guys. I gotta measure him. Look at that fish, you guys. That's a 17 and a half inch bass right there. Let's see if I can get a picture of him for you before I let him go. Don't worry, you guys. He'll be fine. I'm just really want to get a picture of him for you. All right, let's get him back in the water. There he is. There he goes. <laughs>